If you live near one of these active volcanoes, you should probably think of moving. And there are a lot of people living around these volcanoes. I'm going to have three lists here. One of them is the one that you should think of moving from. The other one is the 10 most active, most dangerous volcanoes in the world. 10 largest. And another one is a listing of about 40 volcanoes which are active, potentially dangerous, but the list would keep on going on. It's a list of 2015. An international team of volcanic experts got around, made a listing of which they think are the most dangerous to live around. Catastrophic if anything happens. So if you live near one of these, if you live in the Philippines, Papua New Guinea, you'll know the score. The active volcanoes come alive, erupt any time, spewing lava and destruction. Here are some of the world's most dangerous hotspots. We know most of them are around the Ring of Fire, of course. There are various types of volcanoes. Most common are stratovolcanoes, shield volcanoes, and the calderas. Stratovolcanoes are the most common. The, vol the Global Volcanism Program, which is run by Smithsonian Institute Washington, says these are what most people associate with the word volcano. These towering peaks rise hundreds of several, several thousand meters above surroundings, often visually dominating the landscape. By contrast, shield volcanoes have a low angle profile resembling a warrior's shield. They may not be the visually st stimulating as stratosphere volcanoes, but they tend to be bigger. Calderas, such as the mega threat in uh, waiting, the Yellowstone supervolcano, and the other one, of course, not too far by is the Long Valley Caldera, where we've seen um, within the past few days two uh, quake swarms. It's very unsettling because it's uh, active because of Ridgecrest uh, California earthquakes. So, calderas, Yellowstone, huge volcanic depressions also formed in the, the collapse of the summits from the flanks of the volcano, and they can be as large as 100 kilometers, 60 miles across. Very scenic lakes. One of them, of course, is uh, in the uh, supervolcano in Germany. There are other ones around the world. There's about 20 altogether. Now, right now, the listing, we could start from the letter A, Agung in Bali, Indonesia. Population there is 5,657. It's a stratovolcano, and it is erupting. That's the status now. The uh, Arte Ali in Danakli Kiel Depression in Ethiopia has about 3,000 people living there within a five kilometer radius and it's erupting ongoing since the year 2005. It doesn't look too big, but it's, it's, it is, it's erupting and it's dangerous. Mount Etna in Sicily, it's erupting ongoing since 2014. Population Within five kilometers is 78. It's a stratovolcano. Etna is considered to be Europe's most active volcano, the second most active in the world after Hawaii's Kilauea, and is certainly the continent's most famous, the local region known for its orchards, providing wonderful uh, oranges and lemons. Now, the uh, Ijaf Jala Jokul in Iceland, that's the one that erupted recently in 2010. It's dormant now. Population within 5 kilometers is zero. The Ayaf Jala Jokul is also known by its shorter name as Ayjaf Jol. Either way, it refers to the island mountain under a glacier. That's what it means. And during the most violent phase that it had in 2010, the subglacial eruption produced massive plumes of ash and they hung over Europe. They even came up to the border of Greece. Now, Papua New Guinea, the Kadovar, it is erupting. Population within five kilometers zero. Nearest population over a thousand to Kadovar may be about 30 kilometers away, but the residents were reportedly evacuated to nearby Bloop Bloop Island when the volcano on Kadovar began emitting smoke and ash early January. 
Uh, next, of course, is of course Kilauea. Uh, the status it's not erupting, but uh, it's uh, getting towards an area where it could be erupting soon. The geologists are telling us it is an explosive volcano and it will erupt, we just don't know when, it says. Now the population within 5 kilometers of that is 3,122. It's a shield volcano. Kilauea has been erupting almost uninterruptedly since 1960. There have been some breaks with the current eruption started uh, 1983. It overlaps the east flank of the massive Mauna Loa shield volcano. It's a young volcano and is reputed to be Hawaii's most active one. Then you have Krakatoa, Sundra Strait in Indonesia. It has minor activity. The population within 5 kilometers is 7,177. It's a caldera. Krakatoa is another one of those famous volcanoes referred to as Krakatoa, but that's wrong. It lies between the island of Sumatra and Java, and it's largely submerged caldera that gives birth to Anna Krakatoa, the child of Krakatoa, the new island in 1927. Then you have Mayon Volcano in Luzon Island, Philippines. Status is erupting, and population 5 kilometers within 5 kilometers is 4,350. It spewed lava in uh, mid-January 2018, happens quite regularly. Still, thousands of people live and farm nearby. Officials have warned locals not to enter the danger zone. Merapi, Central Java, Indonesia. Status, minor activity, population within 5 kilometers is 49,205. It's a stratovolcano. And then you have Pacaya. Guatemala City, Guatemala, last eruption was 2016, it is active, population 5 kilometers is 4,250, it's a complex volcano. Then you have Vanuatu Yasur erupting, population within 5 kilometers is 3,636, Yellowstone, Wyoming, status dormant, Population within 5 kilometers, zero. Uh, but now we'd like to go to, let's go to um, the 10 largest volcanoes in the world. Mauna Loa, Hawaii is the biggest volcano on Earth. It's 9,170 meters tall. It's a shield volcano, and Mauna Loa shares, uh, is a hot spot in the Pacific uh, Plate, as we know. Two is Mount Fuji, Tokyo, Japan, a symmetric cone, and for a few months its summit is covered with snow. It's an active volcano. Mount Fuji is a stratovolcano, tallest peak in Japan. Number three is Mayon Canyon, Abe in the Philippines. It's a cone, stratovolcano, 8,081 feet tall. And number four, Mount St. Helens in Washington erupted in 1980 and was one of the most devastating eruptions in the United States. It's an active stratovolcano located in Scarmania County, Washington. Mount St. Helens is part of the Cascade Mountain Range. It's 8,866 feet tall, consists of lava rock interlayer with ash, pumice, and other deposits. The mountain includes layers of basalt and andesite through which several domes of dacite lava have erupted. Number five, of course, is the Mexican volcanoes. Popocatapet volcano in Mexico is one of the most active volcanoes in Mexico. In Nahuatl, Popocatapetl means smoking mountain. It's an active stratovolcano. 5,426 meters tall. It's on North American plate. Andesite magma is consisted inside this volcano. Number six, Arenal volcano in Costa Rica, an active andesitic stratovolcano. 
It's 5,479 feet tall. It last erupted in 2010. Number seven, Mount Bromo and Mount Sumera in East Java, Indonesia. Both volcanoes are active, located in Bromo, Tengger, Semeru National Park, creating landscape of different planet. Looks like a planet full of cones and volcanoes. Number eight, Mount Kilimanjaro National Park in Tanzania in Africa. It's near the uh, Great uh, Rift Zone, Rift Valley. Mount Kilimanjaro is a dormant volcano in Tanzania. It's the highest mountain in Africa with an elevation of 19,341 feet. It is a great hiking mountain. Mount Kilimanjaro is made of rhyolite rock. It's near the African plate boundary, the Arabian plate boundary, and the Indian plate boundary. And going to number nine, Etna. Mount Etna in Catania in Sicily is Europe's tallest and most popular volcano. Roman poet Virgil said it is the home of the mythological god Ephistus and the one-eyed monster Cyclops. Etna is an active stratovolcano on the east coast of Sicily in Italy in the metropolitan city of Catania. It is, of course, full of population underneath. Uh, it is 10,991 feet tall and rests on the subduction boundary where the African tectonic plate is being pushed under the Eurasian plate. It has been active for the uh, past 500,000 years and creates eruptions of basaltic lava. Number 10, the Maelifel volcano in Iceland. Its uh, volcano is located on the edge of uh, Midras Jokul Glacier in Iceland and has perfect cone and a green surface. It has perfect cone green surface covered with moss. It is 1,771 feet tall and is an extinct stratovolcano. Last eruption happened that was over 10,000 years ago and is made of basaltic and picritic Maelifel rocks in the volcano located between Eurasian Plate and the North American Plate. And then we have the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. What can I tell you? There's so many. Mayon, Albay, Philippines, I'm just going to name them. Mount Merapi, Java, Indonesia. Mount Vesuvius, Naples, Italy. Um, Mount Rainier, Washington, D.C. A decade volcano. Considered one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the U.S. Mount Rainier is also the highest peak in the Cascade mountain range with an active hydrothermal system and thick glacial layer. It's been the source of countless, countless eruptions of volcanic mudflows, lahars, that have surged down valleys on its flank and buried vast areas of land. And unfortunately, we have a lot of millions of people living there. Mount Aso in Japan, located in uh, Kyushu, uh, Kyushu Island. Mount uh, Nirangongo, Democratic Republic of Congo in, Af in Africa. Iwo Jima in Japan, Mount Tambora in Indonesia. Uh, in China, we have Chiang Bai Shan, Sakurajima in Japan, that's uh, erupted a couple of times, it's basically active. Added to the decade list in 1991 because of proximity to large populations. It's been erupting steadily since 1955. Apo Yeku in Nicaragua, Ana Krakatao, the child of Krakatao in Indonesia, Nevado, Nevado del Ruiz in Colombia, Santa Maria in Guatemala is a decade volcano, and the list goes on. Gugum Kelud in Indonesia, Tungurahua in Ecuador. Gugung Agung in Bali. Campi Flegri in Italy. We know that. That's near Naples and it's a supervolcano. Mount Shasta, California. Ranked the fourth most dangerous volcano in America by USGS and a very high threat. Mount Galeras in Colombia. Teide in the Canary Islands in Spain. Colima in Mexico. 
It's a decade volcano, also known as the Volcán de Fuego, made up of two stratovolcanoes. Mount Unzen in Japan, Mount Tal in a decade volcano in the Philippines, Kapla in Iceland, Lake Ilopango, El Salvador, Ulawun in Papua New Guinea, Semeru in Indonesia, Mount Etna we talked about, it's in Italy, South Sister, Oregon, U.S., of the Three Sisters Volcano Center in Oregon, South Sister, also known as Charity, is the tallest of the three siblings, unlike the other two, North and Middle. South Sister still has an uneroded summit crater, and it holds a lake in its center. It is a fairly young volcano, being no more than 50,000 years old, and it last erupted event 2,200 and 2,000 years ago. Tatoon Group in Taiwan, uh, Ora Fajokul in Iceland, and Santorini in Greece. So, uh, Mount St. Helens, of course, in Washington. And uh, in Russia, Avachinsky, a decade volcano. Mount Karthala in Koromos. Mauna Loa in Hawaii, decades volcano. Located on the biggest big island of Hawaii, Mauna Loa is the largest subaerial volcano on Earth in both mass and volume. It's a member of the decade project because its potential hazard has been closely monitors, monitored shield volcano. And uh, we know that in August 18, it was changed to color code yellow. And uh, of course, we have earthquakes here. We'll go into that a little bit later. Kilauea, of course. Uh, Kilauea, Mauna Loa, and uh, Loihi share the same magma chamber. And it has uh, three uh, vertical ducts going up, Mauna Loa, Kilauea, and Loihi. And we know we're going to look at that activity uh, right after this video as well. In Ethiopia, we have Dabahu, Popocatapelt in Mexico, we've already talked about. I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.